And it goes a little yeah. something like Hey guys, it's Simply Say and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be looking at other people's houses in Boxburg, then rating them and then giving the people some tips and tricks so that they can help improve their house. So this is the first house. I think it's really cute and I love the colour palette. It's kind of brown and grey. If we looked on the inside, it is a bit empty but it is furnished so I think it looks really good. And around the back there is also a backyard which has a pool and some pool chairs. I then ran around the other side of the house to see if there was anything more in the backyard and I saw another picnic table and a trampoline. Overall, I give this house a 9 out of 10 because it is so cute but it's just not my style. So recently I've been trying to think of some series ideas for my channel and I can't think of any so make sure to let me know down below some ones that you want to see. I then fell in the lake and got stuck so I had to respawn my car. So we are now at the next house and the first thing I saw was this path which I think looks really really cute. So the style of this house is sort of blush modern and I think the inside isn't fully decorated but I think it still looks really cute. When I went around the back of the house it wasn't fully painted and it didn't have a backyard but overall I give this house a 7 out of 10 because it looks really good. So the first thing I noticed at this house was that at the front they have this pond that has lily pads and some rocks. When you go around the side and the back it isn't painted and I also noticed that this house doesn't have a roof. This also meant I was able to look inside and see that it wasn't fully decorated so I give this house a 4 out of 10. Now when I saw this house I was so excited because it looks so cute but when I went in there was someone inside so I didn't want them to get annoyed at me but I just want to say I love the colour palette, I love the green and the pink together. And then I looked inside through the windows and it looked really cute, so I give this house a 10 out of 10 from what I saw so far. So the first thing I noticed about this house, it is very square and the doors and the windows don't match up. I went around the back and it had some rainbow furniture, but when I looked inside it had purple carpet. I was a bit confused by this colour palette, so I'm just going to give this one a 2 out of 10. I would recommend making it less square shaped. So this next house I went to was really cool. It had this green wool on the outside, which I think was super cool. And I'm going to give this house a 7 out of 10 because it's really cute, but the car doesn't really match. So this next house had circle windows, which don't get me wrong, they're so cool. But personally, I don't really like to use them in my builds. I looked on the inside and nothing's really coloured, so I don't think this house is fully finished yet. So I give this house a 5 out of 10. So we are now at the next house that has these fireworks in their front yard and it also has these rainbow bikes which I think looks really cute. They also had this pink gym which I love the vibe. I went inside because they had their doors open and these rooms are so cute. They all match very well. And then when I went outside I noticed there was a tree house in the backyard and also a pool. I give this house a 9 out of 10 because the lights were off so I couldn't fully see the full potential. But it was still really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Bye guys.